and welcome back to another vlog so today we really don't have anything going on today is just going to be like a at home kind of vlog i really don't have much going on but i wanted to bring you guys along with me today is friday normally i upload on my vlog channel on fridays however it was a little busy for work yesterday so i didn't really get a chance to vlog so i thought i'd go ahead and vlog today and get this video up on saturday for you guys normally by fridays i've already almost hit my 40 hours for work so on fridays i normally only work about maybe two to three hours max so yeah i do have a little bit of work this morning this morning i picked up the camera whenever it was time to take my daughter to school i was going to come back home talk to the camera and then it was going to be time to take my son but whenever i was on my way home my son was like hey i'm ready so i kind of just pulled up and then just got him to school so we are back home like i mentioned i don't have anywhere to go but I just started a new term for school and this semester is going to be a little heavy so I kind of wanted to get some studying done today but I was thinking about maybe running over to Starbucks to get some studying done or I don't know I wish we had more coffee shops nearby but we may step out just for that and then of course we're going to get some reading done because I am currently reading A Curse for True Love. This is book three in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. I'm currently on chapter 25 and I am just obsessed with this series already first book one was great again a lot of world building kind of just introducing you to the characters and the storyline and book two i absolutely love this book i am so far obsessed with this series to the point to where i saw an apple core on the ledge of like a little building and i thought of jacks it's that serious i think this week they just released the paperback copy in the ballad of never after and it'll probably be about another half a year or so before the paperback version of this comes out so of course i think once this one comes out in the paperback copy i'm going to get all matching copies because i absolutely love this one and of course i'd like to add it to my favorites pile however let me show it to you guys really quickly so it is now in fact all the way up to the top of the mirror i don't remember if i showed you guys but i finally got my last two books that i needed to complete my chestnut spring series i'm so happy yeah i do want to add these to my favorites pile but it's pretty tall so i don't know i think i just really really need a bookshelf so maybe here soon we'll get a bookshelf and then later we'll go through my april tbr because there are two new reads coming out this month that I cannot wait for. However, one of them comes out literally on April 30th and that's the end of the month. So of course I may just have to throw that into May's TBR, but for sure I want to grab it. So, but I have not had my coffee yet. So let's go make some coffee and some breakfast. Comment down below before we go into the making breakfast scene. If you can guess what I'm going to eat for breakfast. <laughs>
Okay, so I made some breakfast. I cleaned up a little bit afterwards and then I worked for about an hour and a half. And now it's currently about to be one. So I'm going to go ahead and work on all three of my planners. I have my main one, which is just like my monthly calendar, like which bills are due. And then I have my school planner. And then I have like my little to-do planner. So I'm going to go ahead and go through these for the next month. I'm going to go ahead and see what we got going on for the next month. Fill in any important dates for school for the month. So normally out of the year, my husband and I will go out of town for our birthdays. And then we always have one to two family vacations. But for the most part, my husband and I either always do our birth month since we're only five days apart or we normally just do our anniversary, which is in October. But this year, we're going to do a little getaway for our birthdays, which is in April. And then I may do my budget spreadsheet for April because I know we did it together in March. And of course, it's a new month. So I think I want to go ahead and get that created that way. We can keep track of all of our expenses and whatnot so and then also i do want to go to walmart because monday is when we have the solar eclipse my kids are going to get glasses through their school my husband got some through his employer and i'm the only one without glasses and i'll be here at home so i think we're going to run into walmart and see if we can get some solar eclipse glasses so basically in the same parking lot there's a starbucks so i think we'll run into walmart get our little solar eclipse glasses and then run on over to Starbucks to get some studying done. Um, and I'll probably just stay there studying until it's time to go grab the kiddos from school. I'm going to make myself a little snack right now while we get some planning done. And of course, it's going to have strawberry and bananas. So let's go ahead, make our quick little snack, and then get to planning. <music> our planning done we're going to go ahead and head on out to walmart and then run on over to starbucks however you guys know that my uniform is like an oversized t-shirt with leggings I'm going to look for an oversized t-shirt to throw on and then i'm going to go ahead and load up my little tote bag that way we can go ahead and head on out leave it to me to be a last minute Linda but they were actually out 
so now I have to find somewhere that sells them or I may just have to order them but we're in the same parking lot as Starbucks so I'm just going to go ahead park on over there and then let's run on in and get some studying done <laughs> Okay, so we just got to the pickup line at my daughter's school. I was able to get through an entire recording for school. So I'm really glad that I was able to just focus for those like, I was probably there about 30, 40 minutes. So I already had my cheese Danish and then I just got a passion tea lemonade. These are my favorite. However, they didn't make it as sweet at this location, but it's still good. And so now, of course, you guys know that anytime I'm in the pickup line, I read. So I'm going to go ahead and read for the next few minutes. After this, we have to go pick up my son. And of course, we're there. We wait for him in the parking lot, maybe about half an hour. So once we get on over to his school, I will pick back up on reading. But yeah, I love any book recommendations. So definitely let me know down below what you guys are reading, if you have any book suggestions or recommendations. But yeah, let's hop right into some reading. Okay, so we just finished having dinner. As you guys saw, we grabbed some Chick-fil-A. I always grab a Cobb salad. If you guys like salads, I highly recommend trying the Cobb salad with avocado lime ranch. It's really, really good. But let's go ahead and hop into my April TBR. As I mentioned, I am currently reading A Curse for True Love, which is book three in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. And I'm currently on chapter... I'm currently on chapter 27, page 217. So I think I'll be able to definitely wrap this one up over the weekend. I started this one, I believe it was April 1st or April 2nd, but I do have my Goodreads link down below in case you guys are ever interested in what I'm currently reading. So I'll again, have that down below. And then the next book that I have on my April TBR is actually not released and it won't be released until April 9th. And it is Wild Love by Elsie Silver. Again, for the millionth time, Chestnut Spring series is my absolute favorite country romance. And Wild Love is part of her new series so I am super excited but I may go ahead and jump into it on my Kindle until I get the physical copy so that is one of my most anticipated reads for April and then next I've really been wanting to read another kind of like a mystery thriller book so I want to go ahead and read The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell I've raved about Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell I've also read I believe 
The Night She Disappeared by her, which also was a good book. So I'm going to read The Family Upstairs. I've really been wanting to read another mystery thriller book. I think the last one that I read was Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney, and that one was an awesome book. And then next we have The Ones Who Got Away by Roni Lauren. I picked this one up not in my last Barnes & Noble vlog, but I believe the one prior to that one. I read the note from the author in this book, and it automatically caught my attention. It's basically about a tragedy that struck a little Texas town and again I do live in Texas so anytime that a story takes place in Texas I always get excited to read it. I believe it's going to be like an active shooter situation and it's also a contemporary romance so I'm really excited to get into this one. And next we have the book proposal by KJ and I believe I may butcher the last name but I, I believe it's KJ McKeish. This sounds like a really fun read. Basically the main female character is going through like a really bad breakup and I believe while she's out drinking one night she actually reaches out to her high school crush and he ends up responding and he's also going through a breakup as well but she is also a book writer but she kind of hit like a writer's block. And so it sounds like basically she's going to kind of, you know, get together, form a relationship with her high school crush. They're both going through a breakup and I think she's going to end up using like his story or like a new story slash books. So it looks like a good fun little rom-com. Last but not least, the other book that I have on my April TBR is A Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. I think I picked it up in one of my Barnes and Noble vlogs. Um... But I didn't grab it and I kind of wish I did. I absolutely love the Dreamland Billionaire series which is currently sitting on my favorites pile. And so Lauren Asher really easily became one of my favorite authors. I wanted to start on this series or Throttled which is book one in the Dirty Air series. But I did want to go ahead and hop into Love Redesigned. This is the Lakefront Billionaire series which takes place in Lake Wisteria which we see in the Dreamland Billionaire series. So I wanted to go ahead and jump into this one. I think when we go pick up Wild Love by Elsie Silver, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up the physical copy of Love Redesigned. Like I mentioned, my courses in this term are going to require a lot more time so I do need to make sure that I'm getting more studying done than reading. So I did give myself six books again I'm halfway in through the first book of April but I think right now I'm going to go ahead and create my April budget spreadsheet. Um, I know we're like five days into April but I do want to go ahead and get that started that way I'm making sure that we're staying on budget every single month. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. I do create it in Excel. I believe a couple of people had asked me where I got the template from um, but I actually did just create it in Excel so I'm basically going to just copy everything from the month of March and then of course just change it to April. But yeah let's go ahead and start on our little April budget spreadsheet. Okay, so I finally have the month of April done. Again, I don't plug in the numbers on camera, so I'll do that here later, but I'm just glad we finally have our little spreadsheet. I decided to go with the little light pink again. So now that we're done creating our budget spreadsheet for April, um, it's starting to get dark. I was just going to hop into some reading and start editing. However, whenever Stitch wants to go for a walk, he kind of like follows me around the house and will just stare at me. <laughs> So he's been giving me some hints. So I think we're going to go ahead and take him for a little walk. We're back home from taking Stitch on his little evening walk. I went ahead and made myself a little tea because I can feel a headache coming on so I decided to go ahead make some tea and I wanted to properly close out this vlog. I'm going to get started on editing this vlog that way I can upload for you guys tomorrow morning. I hope you guys enjoyed spending another simple regular day in the life. Thank you all so so much for all of your support and all of your kind words. I truly truly appreciate every single one of you and until my next vlog I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!